again everybody welcome to week seven we've read the story of the uh, the true story of the three little pigs as told by a wolf so I hope you enjoyed that and this week's craft is geared to the wolf so let's open our art pack or our craft pack and let's see what we have Alright, and then I'm going to move the bag out of our way. Alright, we this week are going to make a paper bag wolf pup puppet. It's real simple, real easy. So out of your art pack, you will need either your crayons, crayons, your colored pencil, your markers, or if you want to use your paint set, you can use your paint set. It is totally up to you, but I have chosen to use my crayons. So here's our instructions. And here's our instructions to part of her wolf. Now to save time, I've gone on and pre-colored some of my wool. So you will want to choose your colors. And yes, it is purple. Do not adjust your telephone. I mean, not your phone but your camera on your phone because yes purple is my favorite color and I thought my wolf uh, would look just lovely purple so this is your creation your creativity you make your wolf whatever color you like so for the sake of time I'm just gonna color his tongue and then I'm gonna work on his eyes so I think we'll do the tongue the traditional red colored tongue let me find my red crayon and my box of 24 here. Ah uh, yes, here's my red. So we're going to color. You do not have to stay in the lines if you want to color out because you're going to color off and trim if you want to make sure that you're uniform. Color outside the lines a bit because we're going to trim it and cut it off. And for the sake of time again, let me find my green and we're going to make some green eyes. Now I'm not going to color all of his eyes green. I'm just going to give him a little color around the outside of the pupil. Just like that. Just enough color that it takes away from the black and the white. There's not a right or wrong reason if you want to color all of it green or purple or orange or blue or whatever so that you choose. So now you'll need scissors. They're not in your art pack, but scissors should be at your home. Um, Smaller ones, if you need help with your scissors, now's a good time to call uh, mama, dad, grandma, grandpa, or an older sister or brother. And we're going to cut out our eyes. And just to make it easier, I'm going to cut out my eyes like that. And then going to trim her around and cut out the tongue. Move this to the side. And then we'll finish trimming all the way around. Come to the bottom, rotate, and come back up. It takes practice using scissors, so now's a good time to practice. If you mess up, that's all right. You might could trace it on another sheet of paper. Now, to cut the eyes out. I go and I start at the top and I just cut that like that. You don't have to completely trim all the white paper off, but if you choose to, you may do that. And I'm going to cut each of my eyes out individually. That way I can place them wherever I want to on my bag. And straight up and we won't worry about cutting that out. 
All right, the next step is prepping our bag. And I've cut out all my pieces already, but you will have to cut out all your pieces. So if you need to stop, stop, get your pieces cut out, and then continue. Take your bag. We're going to fold the corner down, and we're going to make the snout. Just as simple as that, making the snout. And then you will need your glue stick which I don't happen to have my glue stick. Hold that thought. And here we go, back again. We're gonna take our, <laughs> we're gonna take our snout, we're gonna kind of line it up um, I didn't cut, completely cut out my teeth, so I'm going to fold these so we can see how to center up the snout on the bag. And that looks like it'll be alright. It's going to catch it at the very end. So I'm going to take my glue, I'm going to run a strip of glue across the end. And we're going to glue to the end of the bag. So when you open up, you have the mouth and the snout. We're going to put his tongue on the inside under the flap. So now if you just put a little glue on the tongue, put him underneath. Now you have uh, the tongue glued on. Alright, now I want to do the eyes. Eyes, you can make a crazy looking wolf. You can do your wolf like they were on the sheet. You can turn one one way and one the other way. You can have one looking here, one looking here. This is your wolf. Make your wolf look however you want. My wolf is kind of on the crazy side, so we're going to put one eye this way and I think I'll turn this eye this way like I said this is your wolf you can do your wolf however you would like but well, we've got ears so let's let's get an ear going I think we'll put an ear right here on this side kind of turn it that way Put the ear on this side. I think we'll let his ear droop down. Like, okay, what's going on here? It doesn't have to be perfect. It's your creation. Now we've got hands. So I guess you can do your hands the same way. You can position them either way you want to. Um, I think I'll just do mine kind of the normal way. Put a little glue, press his arm down, put a little glue, press his arm down, and now we have the tail. Now the tail we glue to the back side, but we want to glue it so we can see it on the front side. So the easiest way to do that is lay your, lay your tail down flat. Put a little glue on the tail and then sit your tail, your bag, on your tail. Now you have your puppet. Isn't he cute? Purple and all, crazy eyes and floppy ears. But that's your craft for today. Now we've got some other things going on in your packet that you may enjoy. Let me get my sheets out of the way. Uh, we just have the Three Little Pigs coloring sheet for learning the number three. We have the sequence story, which comes first, which comes next, which comes last. That's the continuation. Oh look, we have a puzzle, puzzle page. Um, it's the hidden figures. 
So you've got several things to look for and we even have an added sheet of other things to look for. Really cool. We also have some mazes and a color sheet and another puzzle. What's different? There are several different things that are different in your sheet. For those of you that like the twisted tails, you can create your own fairy tale um, by uh, looking at a, an original um, fairy tale. Like for instance, we've done Cinderella and we did the paper bag princess. But you might could write a story from the stepmothers. How did the stepmother see the story? Uh, what about Jack and the Beanstalk and the Giant? The traditional story is about uh, what Jack saw. Well, write a story about what the Giant saw. I mean, after all, Jack did invade his uh, home um, on the growing beanstack. Goldilocks and the Three Bears. We usually have the story from Goldilocks. But what if we take the story from the baby bear and write a story, well, how did baby bear feel about this? So there's a lot of different fun fairy tales. If you don't like one of these, find another one. Write a new tale like the, the true story of the three little pigs.